it's your boy Sounds, and we are back again. Mm, it's DJ Sounds, my favorite DJ. Oh, yeah. Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is part two of the e-bike build. Part two. In case you didn't hear me say part two. Anyway, I'm trying to finish this bike up because we have a lot more projects to work on. Boy, if you don't. And uh, don't forget, we have the Amazon giveaway. Giveaway. Uh, Stupid. We have the Amazon gift card giveaway coming up soon. Make sure you watch that video and make sure you subscribe and make sure you comment to let me know that you're interested so we can put you on the list so you can possibly win the gift card giveaway because I have a lot of more stuff, a lot of more. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Stuff giveaway. And I like to start off with this one. more giveaways or some gift cards and electronics and you know working our way up to the bikes and stuff like that you, know, you guys be interested in that so make sure you stay tuned keep the notifications on for the latest videos and updates meanwhile in case you're wondering trying to fit these torque plates which prevents the axle from spinning so that's what I'm playing with now Ho! Oh! Alright, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna take this Mogura rotor slap it on the back of this motor right here Packages are purchasing hardware because there might be screws in there and you don't want to throw these bad boys out, buddy.
Yeah, just in case if you're doing this by yourself, make sure you insert your screws in the star pattern. Um, these screws normally come in Loctite, but they don't for whatever reason. Make sure you put Loctite because you don't want these bolts to come loose. If they become loose, they can rub against your motor wire. Yeah, star pattern. I'll we'll start here, then go here, then here, then here, and so on. And that's where you want to tighten it up slowly. Make sure the road is even. Even, Steven. Yummy! Stop the cap. <laughs> Thank you.